What's up, everybody? This is Dari chilling on the red carpet show with Wolf Five. You know me, say because you know bad. Hey, if you know bad, don't style it. Just leave it like that. Don't touch it. Keep it loud right here. Peace. Yes, yes, yes. It's your boy MI. This is the Red Carpet TV show. Don't go nowhere. Keep it locked right here. And remember that you're hanging with the ever beautiful, the ever effervescent, the ever special, the ever sexy. Hello, my name is Susan Peters, and this is Red Carpet Wafi. and the final presentation of the girls to the entire public. Wow, it's turn points. excited and some people are actually very sad. I feel like crying, you know. I've actually gone in for so many competitions and most times when I'm not chosen, it hits me. I know. I was, I was sad too, you know. Some of, most, some of them were crying and I felt so bad, you know. Okay, now from my own point of view, I think everything was fair and fair. Like it was actually worth the um, selection. What do you think? Yes, I mean the models, you know, they're like really, really the best, you know. Well, not to... Not to diss the others that weren't picked, but I mean, they were really good models. You know. I have to say to the persons who weren't chosen, I mean, it's so pathetic. I feel like, oh. You know, before the start of, uh, before they picked the finals, I came yeah. here and I told them, I'm like, even if you're not picked, that doesn't mean that you are not a good model. It's just that for Nigeria's next top model, you're not what they're looking for. And you shouldn't be discouraged because, you know, one door is closed. You know, there's other opportunities, and you just never know. Like, I wasn't. Even, I, well, I was a finalist, but I didn't make it to be the winner, and I still succeeded. So, you know, examples like that is what they should emulate, and, you know, keep on 
try. They do what they want. You're really a top model. Looking at the modeling, um, the modeling industry in Nigeria and looking at Nigeria's next supermodel, more or less, what do you think could have been the criteria for selection? Do you have any idea on what the criteria were? Well, I mean, um, judging from the season one to five, I think I can, you know, my manager, Mrs. John O'Gordon, is traveling from various countries and seeing other models. I think the basic thing is they, she picked people that she knew that, you know, they had a chance to make it internationally and not just locally. I mean, everybody can make it look at here. I mean, everybody's a model in Nigeria. <laughs> It's actually gotten so many models. When you're talking about Nigeria's top supermodel, my dunamis global concept is one global concept that's actually produced lots and lots of models in Nigeria. Anyways, I'm actually looking forward to doing stuff in my dunamis. What do you think? Wow, well, nice to meet you. You're wonderful. Uh, we appreciate your work. And uh, being here today, I appreciate you. We are part of this uh, glory because uh, it's a platform that stands out to celebrate the femalehood of Nigeria and Africa. A very simple person. Um, I like to see people succeed because me myself, I love success and. Um, I'm always happy and uh, what's it about me? I'm a, I'm a fabulous person. You know, how do you feel at this point in time? Well, I don't know. I'm so excited because I want to see them work, do their thing and I'm sort of scared because I don't know. The people, that are, they're not going to pick. They're really going to feel bad and some of them might even cry. So I'm sort of nervous. Wow. Yeah. All right. So what can you say about the girls for this year? The competition is really keen. They, all the girls are beautiful. Yeah. All of them are looking like supermodels. So what can you say about this year's content? Well, as far as I'm concerned, they're all supermodels and they're all beautiful. You know, sometimes winning is not about being the best. It's you being blessed. So they're all great girls and they're all beautiful. Okay. That's it. Okay, so now, for the persons who would not emerge winners, what advice do you have for them? Well, I would want to tell them to keep up the modeling thing. Just continue doing it. They shouldn't get discouraged because you know at times people will say, oh I don't like it because your tummy is big. And you know you might go elsewhere people will be like, oh my god I love her because of her tummy. So what I'm going to tell them is even if they don't pick you, you should be happy. Be happy for the others because sometimes if they don't pick you, you know, the next year you might end up being the winner. That was what happened in 2007. A girl came for the contest, she wasn't picked and now she's like, 2008 she was a match the winner. And this year's girls, they are so lucky that I told my manager, like, oh my God, I want to contest again. Because they had a lot of prizes, they are going to Dubai, they are doing this, they are doing that. So they have a lot of things on ground for them. So this year's girls, whoever they don't pick, she don't feel bad. They were all human beings, they are meant to feel bad. But she should just not feel bad because I just think there is something greater out there for her.